Hi, I'm Joe. And I'm Lance, and we're the SAR guys. And today we're going to talk to you about our Yamaha TW200s that we use for search and rescue. So uh, here we got our TW200. Uh, I've got mine here. Uh, Joe's is in the background there. But one of the reasons why I picked this is because I didn't want something that was gigantic. I wanted something that I'd be able to put my feet on the ground and something that would be able to handle the area that I live in. And realistically, with the wider tires, the, the mud train that we end up getting into, and sometimes even the sand, uh, I felt that this would, would actually be a good choice for us. Also, I didn't want a big old gigantic motorcycle. This is 196cc, so we call it a TW200. And to me, uh, it gives me plenty of power to be able to go up the hills that we have here on the coastal range. But at the same time, uh, when I'm on the roads, uh, I can be able to maneuver the roads just as well. And so some of the modifications that I did, um, when I bought it, it already had a few of the modifications. It had the kick plate or the skid plate that's down here. Um, I think it's actually absolutely crucial. The one that it comes with with stock is almost like aluminum foil. And so you're not going to get much protection. Um, of course, we have the brush guards. Uh, I, I think on any of these bikes, you're going to end up setting it down eventually. And so just protect yourself. It's a cheap alternative. I put new handlebars and risers just because I'm taller. I'm right at six foot. Won't tell you how much I weigh, but um, I'm a little bit taller. So I liked that uh, bringing the handlebars up just a little bit. And I've put on here some, some lights, some auxiliary lights on the front. And also uh, I have some lights on the side just to be able to light up a, a single track trail if we're out uh, at night and, and it helps and, and I enjoy it. I think one of the biggest things that I, I love is my foot pegs. If you get one of these things, the foot pegs that comes with it's what maybe an inch wide. Yeah. And it's just, it. I didn't know how bad they were until I bought the new ones. And these are cheap, they're like $30. And so then of course we, we added the rack the rack, I think, is 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 crucial. I would get. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Uh, we'll put the link in there, anyways. Uh, the the rack will actually hold some weight, and so everything in my bag. We have a waterproof bag here, and everything in the bag um, is all my SAR gear. So everything that I know that I'm going to go out on a on a search with is in there, and and so we can get to an area. Joe and I can, and we. Uh, strip down, uh, take off some of the motorcycle stuff and just grab our regular search and rescue gear and we can go into the woods and it works out perfectly. Um, other than that, I mean, you could have this thing basically totally stock with the rack and it's ready to go. Uh, I like the TW200 is considered a utilitarian uh, motorcycle. It's what they originally came out with uh, to really combat the three-wheeler. And so uh, this thing goes everywhere. It's, it's an absolute trail mule and it has uh, done us really well on our team a few times. So really happy about it. What about you, Joe? Well, I started out with a, uh, I'm a little bit shorter. I'm a lot shorter, not a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. So I started out with a Grom and, um, it has the fat tires. They're smaller though. They're only 12 yeah. inch. And then I outfitted it. I put big knobbies on it and, uh, you know, put the brush guards on it and yeah, it was awesome. I, uh, nicer seat and a rack. And, and again, I care, I got the pack on the back and, uh, Lance mentioned our complete SAR pack is in inside this bag. So we can open the bag up and just take it out, take our gear off, put the pack on and we're ready to go, yep. you know? And uh, so anyway, I started with the Grom and the problem with the Grom, it, it was a nice size. I liked it. It was really a cool little bike. But my problem was that whenever there was drainage ruts going across a gravel road, <laughs> the front tire would get stuck in those. And I would yeah. either, it would either just stop or I would slide and fall yeah. over. And so it, it just couldn't. Yes, he would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I fall over a lot. I mean, I just, it, it just, it just happens, you know. <laughs> He's like a weeble. He wobbles, but he don't fall down. I fall down. <laughs> and so anyway, and so I like that. And so I switched to the TW200 it, because of the, the COVID and all that it was took me two years to get one yep. and uh, when i got it right away i switched and put a seat uh, concepts seat on it mm -hmm. because the seats are notoriously hard and uh, we did that one search where we were 26 miles on gravel road and when i got home man, my butt could hurt. hardly move yeah. Could, yeah and yep. uh that was 26 yep. miles out and then 26 yep. it was 52 miles that day in the gravel and it was that was a hard a hard yep. run for us yeah that's but, why i took i've got one of these mad dog seat covers and i've got a 
air hawk air cushion underneath um but it you you're still gonna feel it but yeah. i like the seat concept yeah. seats. and the way it's set up too i did mention that i fall down periodically and um the uh between the brush guards and this extra wide um bracket on the back this rack the bike no part of it ever touches the ground except mm -hmm. for the rack and the handlebars yep. and the foot peg. So yep. um, it's protected really well and uh, plenty of power across the whole band. It doesn't matter what gear you're in, yep. you goose it and it goes, you know, yep. and that, that's kind of nice. Uh, one of the things that we did is, is uh, we did have to outfit ourselves a little different um, than the other searchers. And so um, I'm wearing, uh, you know, a, a motorcycle riding gear with all the elbow pads and hip pads, knee pads, thigh yep. pads. And uh, they do wear my chest pack over the top of it and then for helmets um, both Lance and I, I like the sectional helmets like this and uh, we did put um, these uh, Senna communicators on here and I have two different helmets one of them I have my Senna communicator on and the other one I have a wired for my Baofeng uh, radio so then I could talk to commander them but I found that it's more important to be able to just talk without using my hands and pressing the button yeah. to Lance when we're out on a rescue uh, versus talking so to easier. yeah and, and I can always stop and grab my radio and, and talk to command yeah. if I need to yeah so that's the, those modifications absolutely and that's been crucial because as you're out on a trail you want to be able to uh, identify hazards in that especially if you're out front you're always talking you're always saying hey there's a pothole here watch out for the tree that's in the you know off to the right or to the left and so uh it's great that that center radio was a game changer yeah so yeah i enjoy having that and then we get we're on our way to rescue sometimes we'll ride our motorcycles and sometimes we'll we'll pack them mm -hmm. um, if we know it's going to be a long drive there on gravel or just a long drive our county is about what is our county like 70 miles 70, long miles, yeah. you know and so we could be on the road for you know 50 60 miles to yeah. get to command and so in that case i use a motorcycle rack and lance you yep. use a, a trailer yep for your bike uh, but if we're riding there if it's not quite that far again we're on the road and then we can use our centers and yep. and talk to each other and, and communicate that way absolutely so. works out good Okay, well, I think that's covered about everything. Yeah, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments. And, and again, you know, we're, we're only showing you what we use. And so you make sure that you know what your local protocols and all that is. And, and you know, make sure that your department or agency or whatever it is uh, allows you to use motorcycles. We're thankful that, that we were able to start kind of our motorcycle group uh, with, with our search and rescue. And so it's been fun, very helpful. All right. Well, we'll see you out. Maybe not on the trail, maybe on the road this time. Huh? There you go. <laughs> Have a good one.